well, here's my art station. Um, I'll give you guys like a tour of kind of my materials too and what I use. But right now, as you can see, on my table I have Khaleesi, one of the drawings I finished a little while ago. I haven't posted it yet, but um, eventually I will once I get a chance. I've been so busy at work. But why don't we get started? So on my wall I have a couple drawings. They're prints of drawings. This one's from Adam Hughes uh, when he was in Calgary. Um, I got a print from him. And then this one is from Jason Palmer. He is a, also another really awesome artist. And then this one, I'll come in a little closer, is from Jeff Lafferty. Um, he is a phenomenal artist. I love his stuff and he is fantastic. He's got a Patreon page and he's got a YouTube channel. He's got a DeviantArt page. He's got a website. I'll put all this stuff into the description box on the bottom so you guys can access him. And then this drawing here is also from Jason Palmer. He is a really great artist. The only downside to his stuff is that it's all digital. Um, I prefer traditional, but these look like traditional, so... But he created them digitally, so I guess I can't complain, but... Anyway, so here we have one of my... Um, well, my only set of drawers. And it's got a bunch of art supplies in it. So, when I do my drawings, I actually use colored pencils. And I use, like, regular colored pencils. Because I never knew when I was younger that there's actually special pencils you're supposed to use. So I actually use these. And, but I do get a couple things of um, Prismacolor pencils. So as you can see here, I use black and white. They're usually the most that I go through, especially the black. And then I swap out the colors sometimes with these ones. I do want to get a Prisma color set. But at the same time, I was told, or sorry, I watched a video from Latchitree? Lat I don't know her name. I'll put it in the description. But she did a um, video on the difference between Prisma color and polymers and she suggested polymers over prismacolor so I was like hmm that's really interesting because the blending is a lot easier anyways I'll go through this there's a lot of junk in here <laughs> so I have like a circle tool I have an extra light bulb because my light right there actually can die a lot so I have extra bulbs they're actually really expensive it's like six bucks a bulb I have my pencils for my graphite drawings, stapler for whatever, a bunch of erasers, some paints. These are watercolor paints and I actually haven't used them for years. A uh, receipt for sending stuff, a card that I have to give, uh, some more watercolor, no, acrylic paints. These are acrylic paints. I used to do acrylic stuff but I tend not to anymore. I mainly just pencils and markers. So some sandpaper so I can um, sharpen my not needed erasers. <laughs> so I can sharpen my um, stumps. I call them blenders but some acrylic paint, white, some acrylic paint, black, some tape, some sticky tack ruler, some labels, glue, erasers. Uh, this is one of those anti-slip things. I actually have this underneath my pencil sharpener over there so when I put my pencils in my sharpener does go further back and then fall off the shelf. It's actually really useful. And then as I was referencing, I, here's my old old camera. It's a beast. Takes really nice photos but videos no way. And then I have some camping pokers. Don't ask why. I was moving. It was just some space to put it in. So they're doing my garage floor. So because I moved in here and they weren't quite finished because they were it's brand new built. Anyways, a giant sharpener with a little sharpener inside of it. <laughs> Another sharpener, staples, tape, those pencils, some white, some uh, warm white and cool white as well as a colorless blender 
some pencils, more pencils, uh, X-Acto knife. For my Copics, I have these ends or tips because they tend to fray, so I need to replace some of them. And then I have some pencils, and then I have, um, this is where I keep all my stamps. So when I sell stuff on eBay, I throw a stamp on it, and then I ship it. So this is pretty much the first drawer. Oh, and I also forgot to show you, I also got a sketch when I met Adam Hughes, and he gave, well, he didn't give me, but I bought that picture. So I also purchased an original little sketch. Yeah. Which now lives in this drawer. <laughs> so here's my second drawer. This is kind of more for shipping stuff and for my artwork on eBay. So here's all my envelopes. And then I have extra pens. I have some shipping tape. This thing is my very, sorry, is my very first setup for my webcam to do drawing videos. I sure come a long way since this. <laughs> so I have tape, I have sugar for my tea, because actually, well, up here is supposed to be my kettle, but it's not there, it's downstairs, because I was gonna get some water for it, but. Here's a can of Fixative. I spray all my artwork with it, just so that it's protected and it won't, the drawings won't smear. Uh, graphite pencil smears quite easily. So spray it with this, and then it won't won't uh, get all blur blender, blurry, or smudgy. Uh, command hook, some sticky notes, um, some cardboard for shipping sketch cards. So I actually cut all these out. We have at work. I'm the head guard, so we add salt to our pool to make chlorine, and we have these sturdy boxes of salt and. This cardboard is the most sturdy cardboard I've ever seen. Like, seriously, you can't bend it. <clears throat> well, you could if you really tried, but it's so great for shipping art. Anyway, so I got a bunch here ready to go so I can throw my artwork in between. And then I also do longer pieces. So here's a couple longer pieces of sketch cards. And then some more command hooks because I have some artwork that I need to hang. In here is receipts for art I bought, or not art, for art supplies I bought. And then I also have a little bit of cash so that when I want to buy some art supplies, I have money saved up for that because art supplies can be expensive. And then here I have some harder plastic for putting into these these to protect them while it's being shipped. Then I have small sleeves or skinny sleeves and then I also have some of these skinny sleeves for the small ones because that one is for the larger one and then I have some larger hard ones too so I have a variety and then here's some of my sketch cards that I don't want to sell because they're just too awesome so my Joker this one, Nicole Goff drew for me. I commissioned her, and I had four, three other sketch cards from her, but I think they got stolen. So, yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm not telling you that story. Anyway, so she drew me that. It's really awesome. And then I drew this one. And then this was, like, one of my first sketch cards, and I just fell in love with it. It's just so gorgeous. So I'm not ever going to sell that one. And then, oh. And then this one. Love it too. And then I have like a dual set of Natiri and Jake. Which I did. And I thought this one was really cool. Because I've never done like a double one. And then Jack and Harry Potter. So yeah, those are like my protected ones. I also wanted to make like a collage of them, put them all together in like movies and then animals and frame it and put it in a mat and then like throw it on my wall as like inspiration. Because those were some of my favorite drawings that I've done. And then in this drawer, it's kind of like a junk drawer. <laughs> Mind you, they're all kind of like junk drawers, but I have some rags. So if I have any spills or need to clean up anything, 
uh, they're there. Some extra sandpaper um, in the bottom here. I've got lots of packing tape. I've actually got some drawing pads. So I have uh, Bristol, Smooth, and Vellium. I have some watercolor paper because I thought I'd watercolor again. Just kidding. I have some screen cleaner for my computer and all that jazz. So <clears throat> that's pretty much this art thing. I pull everything from here. This is where all my stuff is, but let's keep going. Here I have my garbage. Back there is my recycle because <laughs> I don't have a bin for it yet. So let's move this computer chair out of the way. So up top here I have my fan because sometimes it gets a little warm and it's nice to get the fresh air breeze or a breeze going. Some Kleenex, the bottom for my kettle. Okay. Now let me show you what's under here. I have a bunch of stuff. So I've been testing out polymer clay. I haven't really done too much because I've been in the mood to draw, but here's some of the things I've been doing. A Triforce, some Mario stars. I think I'm gonna have to paint these because they have like flecks of dust and like dirt in it. And then I also have done some, shoot, uh, Deathly Hollow. Oh, I can't remember. The Harry Potter symbol. Ah, uh, it's out of my brain. <laughs> and then I was using these for references to make sure my circles were straight and my lines straight. I might as well just leave that down there. Anyway, sorry if this video is making you sick. <clears throat> so then I have in here kind of the station that I work on. Let me just pull it out. Okay, so, um, so here's the station I work on. I have some more of the Deathly Hollow symbols in progress and I have a cup over top of it so the dust doesn't get to it and then this is like an old drawing book which I don't care about <laughs> I was trying to replicate Adam Hughes's drawing to see if I could try and do it yeah definitely not he's got the quite unique style anyways there's a bunch of paper here you don't need to know about that and then I have my my sticky notes so I write a bunch of sticky notes and I actually put them on my monitor as reminders and stuff. So then there they all are. And then I also have um, some paper towel if I need to clean anything up. And then for my clay, I use triple thick uh, glaze after I bake them just so that they're protected and nice and glossy. So on this shelf, I have some markers. I have, they're just regular type of markers. I usually use these on my pieces of cardboard for my eBayers to say thanks. Here's some of my first Copic markers that I bought. Um, they're just in a separate container. I also bought um, the Prismacolor markers to test it out to see if I liked the Copics versus these when I first started drawing. Um, but I definitely like the Copics better because you can refill them. But these Prismacolors are actually, a, pretty a lot cheaper but you can refill these markers so why not save the environment and refill markers instead of just tossing these ones so then I have my multi liners here um, whenever I do any outlining or when I sign my artwork I use these and then I have my white jelly pens for highlights and then here I have a ton of sharpie markers so for signing um, stuff for eBay. I throw a little message on there with the color. Sometimes I multicolor it. And then here's my drawing stuff for my graphite. This container I actually got at a wedding shower. Or was it a baby shower? No, nope, it was a wedding shower because I remember using toilet paper to make a dress for our little bride. <laughs> we used the kit, the little girls as brides. It was quite fun. Um, back there I have a bunch of highlighters for work stuff or studying. Um, I was doing a course. Here's kind of my container for everything and anything. This is mainly just for pens, for writing, whiteout. Uh, it's kind of like my junk pen drawer. Some nail files. It's kind of got everything and everything. And then a multicolor pencil. Sorry, that's kind of out of focus. But And then there's also, this shouldn't be in there, this is an eraser. Um, one of my friends online 
uh, Mark or Frayed Logic. I'll put his stuff in the show notes or description box so you can check out his stuff. Um, he bought this for me and he sent it to me. So I've used it all the time. I actually have another one down there. It's really short because <laughs> I've used it lots. And then my Pride and Joy, my only set of Copics so far. I'm still saving up for more. But here's my Copics. And I love it. I can only do Jake and Terry because there's a bunch of blues and greens. I don't have any flesh tones, so it's really hard to do anything with flesh tones. Yeah, but I can do black and white drawings too. And like warm gray and cool gray. And as you guys seen on my YouTube channel, um, I can do those cool gray and warm gray. My Catwoman, my Catwoman and Batman, and my um, uh, <laughs> my Iron Man are done in cool grays and warm grays. So, and then here I have like a a cutting board. So when I want to cut my artwork, this is really nice to use because then you don't have to worry about not having a straight edge because when you use scissors who knows how you're cutting <laughs> and then you're like oh damn my line's not straight so that lives there so underneath there I have some scrap paper for doing markers and then here is my findings for my clay stuff oh, knocking stuff over I'm just trying to get into the light don't go into the light. So then I have my uh, wire snippers. I have my rounded nose. And then I also have another pair of wire cutters. I really love these. They're great. And then all my findings. So some colored rings. Split ring. Split? No. They're not split rings. They're the keychain rings. So some of those and then different sizes these are smaller than these and then I have different colors some sandpaper for when I want to sandpaper some of my dry clay down um, some more rings and then these came with the set of it um, they work too as an option and then I have these weird ones and then these hooks but sometimes like, the little figurines are so small it's too long so then I have to snip it and I have some chain some hooks some more of those rings and then split rings or are they jump rings I don't know I think these are split rings and those are jump rings yeah but I just want to say that all of this and the clay that I made that I'm going to show you, all of my clay stuff is inspired by Bailey Creations. She is fantastic, so inspirational when it comes to like her clay stuff. She only has one video, but she still showed us stuff, and it'd be nice to see some more videos from her on like her clay and how she makes stuff. But regardless, I love all her videos. She's just so awesome, and she she's got a vlog channel too. So that's some of my clay stuff so and then here's my clay box so this is the stuff I made and like I said Bailey is the inspiration to this so in this area I have some claw clasps because I was gonna do like bracelets or like maybe a necklace um, I also have have some bracelet hooks because I wanted to do a clay bracelet I also have earring hooks so I can make some earrings. So I have a couple chain chomps. Please bear with me. These are like my first type of like clay stuff I've made. So if they don't look very good, I agree with you. So a little mushroom. little red mushroom some green guys
some Pokeballs. And then the most adorable set of earrings I've ever seen. Ain't they so cute? And then a Tetris piece. I'm going to be making more Tetris pieces, so, in the future. But I thought I'd try making one. And then I made Captain American shields. Oops, wrong side. So, originally I made the ones with gray, and then I was like, I don't really like the look of that. So then I made, then I painted um, one of the gray ones white. And I was like, I like that better, so next time I'll just make a white star. And then I also have some Captain American earrings that I made. So, yeah, I'm pretty proud of these. And it's all because of Bailey. She inspired me to do it. Um, hopefully one day an artist table at a convention. And so I want to make more of these to sell. Because I think, excuse me, oh my goodness. Uh, I think that'd be great. So that's some of my more clay stuff. And then here is just some extra drawing paper that I've kind of stored away. Because I had an extra bin, so I was like, meh, might as well use it. So in this spot, I have some painting brushes for painting stuff, an X-Acto knife. Um, let's pull this guy out. So I have some chain link, which I got from Michaels. Some hand sanitizer because it cleans the residue of clay off your hands and that weird texture that you can get. Um, some stuff for some of my tools, some paper towel, and then here's like my clay stuff. So I've got a different variety of types of color clay, not tights, but color clay. I use Fimo Soft, or well this one's Effect because it's got like glitter in it. And then I use Soft, and um... It's actually really good. Sometimes when the clay is too hard, I'll add a drop or two of baby oil, and it just like makes it nice and uh, moldable. And then here's some of the clay that's already opened, and I put it in a Ziploc bag. Same with here. And then I have some crazy glue for when I um, need to glue the, um, the pins into the pieces of clay. So that's kind of my art drawer there container so that's kind of my clay container there I can't talk <laughs> so in this container I have baby wipes because this is also really good for wiping your hands before you use your clay or for in between um, using clay it can take the color off of your hands and then you can start fresh so a big case of that that was only two bucks at Superstore that's pretty good. And then I have, um, this is the original stuff, like, that you can get. It's pretty expensive, but, um, you can also use baby oil. I bought this before I got the baby oil because I wanted to try both. So, I tried both and they're pretty much the same. <laughs> and then I got a dotting tool or needle for more detailed work. All my tools that I use for clay... Um, some dotting tools, some knives, an X-Acto knife because I don't have a blade, and then my rolling pin. This was just something to put over the clay to protect it, and here you can see I'm making some more of those uh, Deathly Hollow symbols. So yeah, this is just on top. Something as well as if your clay gets too gooey, what you can do is you can put a piece of paper on top and it'll suck out the oil out of the clay and it'll make it um, not so gooey when you're working with it. So that's it for that area. So moving on. Um, seeing as we're on the topic of clay, Bailey did this so I kind of, I mimicked her and she suggested uh, putting like, she used paper clips but I don't have any. So I've got a ton of nails because I'm developing the basement. And, uh, 
yeah. So I put on a can of hairspray and then a can of perfume and Oop, one of my minions fell over. Get back here. Because he got scared because of this guy next to him. Dun dun dun. And then I have a very beautiful vase I got from my cousin for my for Christmas. So that's kind of that area. And then my pencil sharpener, my pay stubs, my iPod, some sewing stuff, and two boxes of Kleenex. The reason I have two boxes of Kleenex is because before, when I was doing my videos, I have this mount, this jar here. It's actually used, I used, there was a candle in it, but I got all the wax out and stuff once I used the candle, and I put my um, camera... The wand that came with the camera, I put it in there and then I taped the lid on top so that I have something to look down onto my art for. And so, yeah. But now, I actually have this arm. Anyways, um, going back to this, I'd actually put a couple boxes of Kleenex underneath it just to raise it up so that it'd be, if I had a larger piece of artwork. My phone died so I had to charge it. <laughs> But anyways, like I was saying, I usually put um, this camera, like this camera here would attach to this end here and then I would put this onto the boxes of Kleenex so that when I'm drawing, it would be over top of the drawing so you could see the full drawing because when it's really close, you can't see it. Everything. So, but that being said, um, yeah. But now, I actually recently just got this arm in the mail. So now I'm going to be using that to do my Ustream drawings. Or, well, not so much Ustream, but YouTube drawings. I could do Ustream. I tried to do it the other night, but it didn't work. So, I don't know. Anyway, so here's my dual monitors. Um, as you can see, this camera's in the way. So when I'm drawing, I can't see behind it very well. Um, I usually put my references there and then I put a movie or watch Netflix there. So, um, there's my volume button for music, a glass for drinking, coaster. Um, here's some of my art supplies. So, I've been doing some drawings recently, so, um, but I've been adding some paint to them. You'll see them in future videos. Um, it's, uh kind of a surprise <laughs> but so this is actually a lid to that container over there but the paint comes off really easy so once it dries you just peel it off and I'm not left handed so this is difficult and then ta-da paint comes off and it gets all clean and then I have my eraser kneaded eraser pencil sharpener which is really good and then just some of the pencils I use um, I went online and I bought a bunch of these pencil extenders. Again, a friend mentioned it. Uh, Mark Freyd, or Mark Freyd, <laughs> Mark Freyd Logic. He was the guy who actually suggested me to get these pencil extenders and the eraser. I got them from the same website. So, um, but I have three different types of these. No, four, sorry. They come in a case of two or a case of four. I bought them a long time ago. And then my pencil, or my eraser extender, pen, one of my favorite pencils, because it's a point, point three, I think. Like, it's super thin. And then some other stuff. My mouse, my mouse pad, I got this from DeviantArt a long time ago. It's upside down, but whatever. Anyways, here's my light. I... You can't really see them, but I got these from Jason um, as well when I went to the Calgary Expo. Let's try and put them in some light. So Xavier and Khaleesi. Haha, -ha, Khaleesi, Khaleesi. <laughs> Anyways, so here's my light. I have tinfoil on it because this glass it actually shines the light straight through and it's so bright on the eyes so I just put that over top to dim it. Some magnets, some scissors, oops, my scissors which is attached to a magnet. 
for easy access, my speaker, and then under here, I have some stuff, not a lot of stuff, but um, here's a bunch of my like sketch card drawings, so I have some work in progresses. Oops. So here's one of the Phoenix, which I started a long time ago, and like things I'm working on, and a bunch of different. I'll pull it out here. Ah, don't drop it. <laughs> and then just like ideas for things and such. So in each one, there's a little drawing or subject I want to draw or image I want to draw. Here's some tea from Tim Hortons. I believe Tim Hortons is Canadian. Americans don't have it in the States. But I bought a box of their honey lemon tea. Love it. It's great when I'm sick. And then you just add some honey and it's so delicious. And then some pens, which I rarely use. They're just for whatever. Um, so in my pencil case here, it is full of pencils. And so anything that's short enough to fit in this box, I put in this box. Because this thing is so full and over full that... I can't fit any more pencil crayons on it. And then from someone on Ustream, when I used to watch Ustream a lot, or when people would do Ustream, there was um, a girl, she had scrap paper, she cut it up, and then she put a, a ring on it. If you like me, then you put a ring on it. <laughs> Beyonce. Anyway, so any scrap paper or anything I print off that I want to throw out... I cut it up and then when I need to like sharpen my pencils to a fine edge I actually scribble on it and then I throw it away or I rip it off scribble on it then I put it into my recycle so this bin is my recycle bin we'll just put that back now I guess I'll show you inside my pencil case just in case some of you want to know Oh, and there goes some other things. So my pencil case. Mm -hmm. Put that aside. So over here I have some of the little sketchbooks that I use for my sketch cars because they're like the right size. And I have a letter and a photo. There's some random crap back there. Or random stuff back there. And then up here is my T3 calculator my wallet which I never use in this box I have my headphones so when I listen to music late at night or whatever now I can't get it back in there <laughs> um, some other stuff this is what I use when I spray the fixative onto some of my sketch cards I tape the card here go outside spray it let it sit out for a bit and then bring it back in so that's what that's used for. And then this. Ah! Of course. That's okay. I'll clean it up later. And then this. On DeviantArt, there's a speed drawing uh, group. So every once in a while, I'll post a video on there. So people can come to my YouTube channel. And watch all my YouTube videos. And so I put some up. And this is just a reference. And then there's like also other groups that you can put art into. And so I just kind of keep track of what I posted. Like, here's the speed drawings category YouTube artists on DA, All World Art, Tim Burton fan, the Navi avatars, etc., etc. And then I just keep track of what I've put in what group. Mind you, they have that option of being like, hey, by the way, you've already submitted that one. So there's some more stuff back there in this box. Oh, don't look at that. It's my check. <laughs> Anyways, in this box, I have some of my uh, Copic refills. So, because I only have so many colors, and I don't use them too, too often, I only have a couple refills right now. I would love to get one of those, like, one of those big cases worth where you put all your markers into it. Bailey has it on her channel. She's got one of those things, but she did make hers. But I think I'd just buy mine, but I don't have enough uh, money or Copics to get one yet. <laughs> so over here is my printer. This is my laser printer. I love it. 
best purchase ever, but it's damn noisy. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. So, um, here is some photo paper, um, a drawing desk, like a lap desk, some printer paper, and then in here is actually a bunch of my sketch cards that have not sold. I'm trying to get it out of the light. Some stuff. This is for future buttons because I want to get a button press. And then a bunch of my sketch cards. I usually throw all these up on eBay. And then people can buy them, bid on them, don't bid on them. And then a bunch of blank ones. I'm trying not to do sketch cards anymore because I want to do a comic conventions and sketch cards. They're so small. So I want to do some bigger artwork. And uh, over here is some mailers. So when I start doing bigger art, I can actually mail these off. Or m mail them off. And then here's another oh art book. I didn't show you the other art book. There's an art book right there. I'll show you that in a minute. Ah, I'm in the sunshine. So here's some of the art. On my DeviantArt, I have all these drawings on there. But I thought I'd just show you real quick. So these are some of my bigger ones that I want to get prints of and sell. Oop. You didn't see that. So. And that's about it. That's a pretty good collection so far. Oh, and some work in progresses. This one, I did it for competition and it turned out terrible. The hair is atrocious. <laughs> I rushed it. And then another Twilight one. Uh, which I never finished and I probably won't ever. One of Jake and Nasiri that I started. And then a wolf one. Oh, and then another Jake and a Thorin that I never finished. Oh yeah, and I printed off um, a drawing from Adam Hughes. I just love this drawing so much that I printed it off and put it in my art book. Don't worry, I'm not gonna say it's mine. And it's Adam Hughes. He's fantastic. And then here's like, this one was a logo for a lady at work. She was get, trying to get a business done. So I designed a bunch of logos. And yeah, she was going to go with that one in the end. But unfortunately, her business didn't really work out. This um, was a bunch of designs for the bottom of the pool at my work. We have three different uh, facilities that I, we work at, or I used to work at, but now I'm head guard for one facility. I'm stuck. I'm staying there. I'm stuck there. But I did um, some animals at the bottom of the basin of the dive tank. And if you go to my deviant art, you can see me with the fo with the uh, these images. So I did dolphin, um, a manta ray, and a shark. I also did um, some more like ideas and some more ideas. This one I did on the bottom of the pool as well. And then I did this guy too. And uh, did I do any others? I think I just did this guy and that guy. So yeah, you can check those out on my DeviantArt. And then I'll show you this other book. I don't think there's too much in there. Ah! You didn't see that one either. Those are videos I'm going to be posting on YouTube. So I'm like, I can't show them yet. <laughs> okay. And then here's one of pink I did a long time ago. And those are just references for drawings. So there's nothing much in there. But yeah, those are my art books. So, oh, there's stuff up here. Oh my gosh, I got so much stuff. This book is just like a personal book, just to write in, nothing special. Um, this is from Calgary. Sorry, it's so washed out. Um, this is from Calgary. It's like how to do stuff for an artist alley. And it's going to be really useful. Um, here's a drawing book that I use for my co Copic markers all the time. 
This is another book just for like putting ideas down for drawing. Here's another one of those drawing books. It's a bigger size. And then here is like a sketchbook that I put ideas down to. So here's my tower. And then I have a wireless um, internet for my computer. Oh, there's where that pencil went. And then here's my scanner. Pretty basic, pretty simple, nothing special. And then if we turn around behind me, um, here is my light table and a chair to sit at. And then when I need to transfer stuff, I use it. This was custom built. Yeah. I have the cover on it just so dust doesn't get to it. And then here's a bunch of photos of me meeting some celebrities. I think I have a couple on DeviantArt. So there's my montage. And this is like behind my art area. This goes up to my room, my uh, master bedroom suite loft. And then here's my retired old art desk. Well, that's everything. So if you guys want to see more of something, let me know. If you want me to draw something, let me know. If you really like this video, let me know. Uh, I'd like to hear any and all feedback that you guys have. It's great to hear from you guys. So if you don't like something, if you want me to try something. Anyways, um, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.